Hey guys, so it is Saturday night and it is the 2nd of July and it's about 10 o'clock at night and I just got home from work on my second job. Um, on my second job, I do real estate in my first job. My second job is um, delivering groceries at a grocery delivery service and um, today in between uh, I've been working really, really long hours the last couple days, and I'm going to be doing that for the rest of the weekend because holiday weekends are very, very busy for grocery deliveries. So, anyways, in the middle of my day, today it got really slow for a couple of hours. Um, so, at the, my last delivery, uh, before the, it slowed down, um, I was downtown, which is in the center of our city. Um, so I went ahead and stayed down there until I got some new, uh, some good business that I could uh, claim and go and do. That way I'd be centrally located. There's also a lot of antique shops downtown. So I ended up going to one of the antique shops that I frequent um, that I haven't been to in a while. And this is my haul from the antique shop. And I also stopped in at my charity shop. Um, this morning just to see if they were doing bread and stuff like that this morning um, which they were not um, so I wanted to go ahead and get into this haul with you guys before I sat down and ate dinner and relax and everything um, and I'm really super super excited about it because I have been made and you probably realize this from my last uh, pioneer woman haul um, when I went to Walmart and I bought the melamine plates that I am majorly crushing on granite wear and splatter wear right now. And part of that, uh, mostly to blame for that, is uh, Miss Lori over at Whippoorwill Holler. She has some of the most beautiful pieces of splatter wear and granite wear. And she's always, um, you know, I'm always watching her cooking and seeing all of her beautiful pieces. And I just have so much envy and want the same uh, pieces. I'm really into them right now. So as you can see, I did really, really well at the antique mall um, this afternoon um, during lunchtime. So I will go ahead and get into what I got from there. And this is just a local antique mall, but um, the prices that I got were super, super affordable. And I've been wanting to get a set of at least four mugs and tr to try to, um, I have a mug rack above my coffee and tea station. And I've been wanting to try to get some that are all the same um, to get some continuity going there. And I was thinking that I would probably um, find some splatterware ones or some, um, some solid cobalt mugs. Um, we do have some clear ones as well but check out these mugs so these are actually ceramic and they are huge if you can see how big they are which i love huge coffee mugs and it is from the brand stoneware country living home collection dishwasher and microwave safe and so it's stoneware but it's painted to look like splatterware is that not awesome? And look how big these mugs are. They are huge. I was so excited to find these mugs. And they were $12 for the whole set. So aren't those gorgeous and aren't those awesome? So I'll be thinning out my coffee cups <laughs> tomorrow and getting rid of at least four of them to make room for these. And then down here I found two spoons and i found these on two different booths and this is just the light blue granite ware and this looks like it's really old and i only paid a couple bucks for both of these spoons so there's the bigger one and then a ladling spoon and then here's a like a, a serving spoon and this probably was one that came in some of the old um granite ware camping sets because I know that when I was a kid we had we camped all the time um on the river and everywhere like that um and that that was our thing that we did was camping and we had a whole set of plates and cups and um coffee pots and pots and pans and spoons and everything of this blue granite ware and I just love it 
just for the nostalgia part of it, but also because it's older and it is a love blue. You know that my favorite colors, especially for dishes and everything like that, are red, white, and blue. And this beautiful blue color is awesome and it's going to look really good in my um in my container where i have all my vintage um spoons and, and utensils in so the other uh utensil that i picked up they had a whole thing of these and this is just a whisk and it is i just thought it was really cute or uh, some people call it a separator or it can be used as a separator but it's just got this simple little wire handle and a spring wrapped around it. And I only paid like a dollar or two for this. And I just thought it was super cool. And it would be in a very effective whisk if you wanted to beat up some eggs or something with it. And then the last one that I got. And somewhere I must have dropped it in the car. But I thought I had an enamel ladle as well. A white and, and black enamel ladle, but I don't know where it is. It's really dark out there. Um, but I might have fell out of my bag. But anyway, so I got this spider. And this was only a couple of dollars. So I went ahead and picked it up too to go in my outdoor kitchen. And I have a, a larger spider like this. But I liked how deep this one was and how smaller but deeper it was. And the long handle with a little hook on the end. So... I got that and then I found these and I just was all over this mall looking everywhere for splatterware and stuff like that that was going to catch my eye that I was looking to uh, find. So I got these two bowls. They're like a in between a blue and a green granite ware and they're really big bowls. Like they would be like really good for a pasta bowl or a serving bowl because they're really... Um, a really big size like you can see if I spread my hands out over it and I have I have small hands but those are really decent size bowls so I got two of those and those were only um, three dollars a piece so that was a good deal and then this was one of the last booths all the way back in the back of the, of the antique mall and it had a whole tray of antique silverware in it and I saw it and I almost ran to it because I really 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 been wanting some red splatterware that's my favorite I love the red and white I love the blue and white I especially love them displayed together um, and I like the black and white and the green and white okay but the blue and white and the red and white just red white and blue I just love it so much and this red is a lipstick red it is so bright and gorgeous and I don't know how old it is. It does have the black on the um, edges. But it is. It does have distress marks. And there's no. There's nothing underneath. There's no markings. Or trademarks. Or anything like that. It has another little distress mark right there. Which just makes it all the more cool. But it's a big. I'd say 10 by 14. Um, baking tray. And it's probably about two and a half to three inches deep. So currently, before now, I don't, I did not have any splatterware whatsoever. Um, and then the only granite ware that I had was um, I had a have an enamel twelve quart canner a pot that I use as a small canner that's white with the red trim rims around it. But other than that, I didn't have any granite ware or splatterware. Besides coffee pots for, that we use for um, percolators that we use for camping. So that was super, super exciting. And this pole booth was 30% off. So this pan right here was $15. So not a bad deal at all compared to the prices that they have for these on Etsy. And then the last thing I got from the uh, mall the, was one of the first things I saw when I walked in was these awesome earrings and these were just a couple dollars but they are so pretty they have big flowers and then they have all these gold, green and iridescent gems all over them so I think those are just so pretty 
Okay, moving on. What we got at the charity shop. So I just picked up, I saw that they had these two big bowls. And this one's kind of got a little dent right here. But I have a big old sack of these stainless steel bowls um, in my kitchen. And I have the outdoor kitchen. And these bowls get used more than anything else in, in my house. We're always using them for everything. And I don't care if what you know they're pretty much indestructible except for maybe a ding here or there but other than that it doesn't matter if we leave them outside it doesn't matter i can throw chicken scraps out in these bowls i can do whatever needs to be done and have them wherever underneath the sink or in um you know in in the kitchen in the house or in the kitchen outside and i don't have to worry about them getting broke or if they get scratched or anything like that so i went ahead and picked those up those are a dollar a piece just to have some extra big ones um for our little stack and our stash and these are really lightweight like this is a good size to process stuff in and this is a really big one and we only have there's only probably i mean there's probably four or five really big ones in there but it always helps when you're like shelling peas or um, doing stuff like that with the kitchen. So the other thing was I got this little utensil tray and is that like a what you would carry your like we were having a we we're eating outside in our outdoor kitchen or we were going to have a picnic or eat you know do something like that. It could carry it carries plates and spoons and forks and napkins or whatever but I actually bought this to display for decor. So I can do like, usually I do tablescapes and stuff like that, but um, I could use this to actually hold decorative plates or napkins or, you know, spoons, forks, whatever uh, of my antique stuff for decor. And then the last thing, well, it's not last thing, but it's one of the things. Um, you probably saw me haul a basket sort of like this the other day for my pantry, except for it was bigger. This one's actually real like wood and wicker and it's really sturdy and it's a little bit smaller but um, I just hauled this from my pantry storage and it was a dollar or two and then one last thing that I got from there was this fire log uh, this was just something random that was there and they only um, charged me a dollar for it but it's a three hour burn fire log and I don't know how much these cost at Winn-Dixie because this one's from Winn-Dixie. Um, but I thought for a dollar, it was really something that I'd like to have on hand for when we go um, on our camping trips to the cabins or just for emergencies or anything like that. Um, a fire that you can light and it will light itself and burn for three hours is just a good thing to have um, on hand for storage. So as I was coming in a while ago, I had a package from Amazon, which I haven't had one in a long time, but I just thought I would show it to you real quick. Just as a reminder for people, um, if you have a canner, like a Presto or a Miramatic or something like that, that has um, a gasket or other moving parts, a plug, um, extra dials, whatever, it's a good time to go ahead, if you don't already, and have spare parts for your canner on hand because your gaskets can wear out your plugs can wear out um, different things on your canner can go bad and you do not want those, that to happen in a world where we may not be able to get another one or they may be out of stock or you know all these different supply chains go down and you can't use your canner so i went ahead and picked up a, another gasket for my 16 quart and it also has a replacement um, plug in there. So just wanted to have that on hand for when I need it. And I'll be getting another one. My, my other canner, I've never replaced these parts on my canner and I've had my canner for um, this particular 16 quart canner for over 10 years. Um, and I've never replaced it. Um, and my other one I've only been using since June of 2020 or 2021 
Um, so it's pretty much brand new. So I will be getting a replacement parts for it, but that was more urgent to get the replacement parts for my smaller one. And then I just got some more gaskets for my jars. So this is what, uh, something like what you would get off Amazon if you ordered replacement gaskets for your flip top jars. So a lot of times you find the flip top jars at the flea market or thrift store or wherever and the gaskets are dry rotted but the jars are in perfectly good shape. You can buy these really cheap. I think this was six dollars and I got two, four, six, eight. So I got eight, at least eight of these for six dollars off Amazon. So I didn't, I was trying to get a smaller size and the description said this was the small mouth and not the wide mouth and that's why I got it. Um, but I do think this, these are more of the wide mouth but it doesn't matter because I can never have enough of these on hand. All right, well, that is the end of my feels like midnight haul of this gorgeous granite ware and faux granite ware that I picked up today that I am super, super excited about displaying in my house. And also, um, I probably will use this pan um, just like any other pan um, and I could also you know just display it as well but I probably will use it because I pretty much use everything and I'll definitely be using these coffee mugs so oh yeah over here so I did pick up a couple of forks um, that were this whole tray was full of forks that were for sale and I picked up a couple of them because they were 50% off just to have some extra ones and then um, at the charity shop, I picked up these paring knives just because I wanted to have some more, a couple more paring knives on hand. I only have a few of them. And this one says Emperor Steel. And it already has a pretty good blade on it. Um, this one doesn't have a um, any marking for what it is on it, but it looks like it... It, it's a good size and it looks like it would feel good in my hand and sharpen up pretty good and it has the continuous metal throughout it so that's pretty durable and then this one is a kitchen a kitchen messer so I don't know what um, if that's Polish or Swedish or what but um, just pick that one up just to have extra paring knives because I have lots and lots of butcher knives and chef knives and bread knives and every other steak knives and everything like that but I only have a couple paring knives that are small like this that will take a good blade that I can use to work on my vegetables with so that is the end of the haul and I hope you guys enjoyed it and now I'm going to go get off my back and my feet and enjoy the rest of my evening and you guys have a blessed and safe 4th of July. And remember the reason for the season. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.